So last night we had our first big trade in this NHL offseason that sent Alex Galchenyuk to the Arizona Coyotes in exchange for Max Domi and I'm going to be digging deep into this trade giving you guys my thoughts and then I want you guys to go down in the comment section and let me know what you think of the trade after you're done watching the video so let's get right into it. This trade really did kind of come out of left field. We obviously knew that both of these players were available on the trade block, but there was no talks about these two teams talking about a potential trade until the actual trade was announced. So it was kind of random. It came out of left field. I wanted to make a video on it last night, but it came out really, really late where I am. So I decided to wake up today, get like my thoughts straight about the whole trade, and then give you guys what I think about it. First things first, I just wanted to take a look at each individual player. So we're going to take a look at Alex Galchenyuk first. He's 24 years old. He's a center slash winger. Montreal didn't really have him working out as well as they wanted him to at the center position. So they started playing him on the wing more and more. He's played in 418 games and has 108 goals and 147 assists for 255 points. He's played in 28 playoff games and has 13 points. And this trade, like I said, is kind of weird because Montreal is looking for a center and and Bergeron did say that Montreal is going to try Max Domi at center, so it's going to be very interesting to see how that works. But I do think Arizona is getting the better player, and I do think Galchenyuk has a higher ceiling than Max Domi does. A good season for Galchenyuk is 30 goals. He did that two years ago, and I feel like a good season for Domi would be like 15 goals. So I really do think Montreal has to be really angry with Bergevin, like their fans. But this could work out because it seems as both of these players needed a fresh start. And maybe this is what Max Domi needs to realize his full potential. And maybe he comes into Montreal and acts as one of their best players next season. Especially playing with a talented offensive guy like Jonathan Duran, if that is how they go. If they move Duran back to the wing and then play Domi at center. It's going to be very interesting to see how this works out. But I do think that right now, Arizona has to be very happy with getting Gelchen and they also said they are going to be trying him at center when the season starts so Galchenyuk playing with Clayton Keller it's going to be very interesting to see what happens and I really do think this is a good trade for both of the players but I do think that the Arizona Coyotes won the trade right now now taking a look at Max Domi he's 23 years old He's a winger. He played a little bit of center for Arizona, but not too much. But Montreal is going to try him at the center position. He's played in 222 games, has 36 goals and 99 assists for 135 points. He has no playoff experience, and he just signed a two-year $6.3 million deal, so he'll be making $3.15 million per season. So that's very interesting. What is going to happen with Max Domi? This is like his bridge contract to see if he is worth a huge contract extension after these two years and the people that were saying this is a cap space move well that's only like freeing up like 1.5 million cap space from this deal and from Galchenyuk so people that are saying that I don't really know if I agree with that. I really do think Mark Bergevin thinks that this is a good trade for the organization and that Max Domi can be a better player for them than Alex Galchenyuk was. And I know there was a lot of rumblings about trades for Galchenyuk for years now and that it was most likely had to happen. So maybe this is just the best offer that he could get for Alex Galchenyuk. And teams kind of knew that they had to trade him, so they were just lowballing him. And this trade, I guess if it's the best thing possible, was it the right move by Montreal? But I, I don't know. It's really weird. I just really don't see it. I really do think Galchenyuk is a lot better of a player than Max Domi is at this point in time. And I think Galchenyuk's ceiling is higher too. And if they both max out their full potential, I still think Galchenyuk is going to be the better player in the future than Max Domi is. So to really dissect this trade, we're going to have to wait until after next season and see how each of these players play in their first season with their new teams. And I think Alex Galchenyuk has the potential to put up a really good amount of points, maybe a career high in this new situation, playing with young players and giving the opportunity. And I think there's not as much pressure on him now. As in Montreal, it seems there's always so much pressure on new players coming in. Obviously on Jonathan Duran, there was so much pressure on him. And it seems like you get torn apart if you don't live up to expectations while playing for the Montreal Canadiens but playing for the Arizona Coyotes with a team that already has their franchise player in Clayton Keller and their franchise defenseman in Ekman Larson who just inked a new deal there's a lot less pressure on Alex Galchenyuk now to do well and I think that is only going to benefit him in the long run and as opposed to Max Domi I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on him next season and if he doesn't work out with even in the up until the trade deadline I could see fans just ripping into Mark Bergevin and asking for him to be fired because 
I mean, I think it's going to look rough next season. I don't think Max Domi is going to play very, very well next season, kind of being relied on as one of the top options on this team. And I think Galchenyuk is just going to slide into Arizona nicely and play fantastic for them. So we're really going to have to wait until a couple of years to really dig deep into this trade as we can't really say now that this is a better trade for one team as they haven't played a game yet for their new team. But if we're just talking who has gotten the better player right now, then Arizona fans have to be really happy with this trade as obviously they wanted to trade Max Domi and I really didn't know how much they could get for Max Domi but getting Galchenyuk straight up in return that is a very good deal I really did think when this trade first came out that there was going to be some draft picks attached but there wasn't this was just a straight up one for one deal Galchenyuk for Max Domi so that is going to wrap up the video I hope you guys did enjoy make sure to let me know down in the comment section what you think of this trade and who you guys think won the trade like I said in the video I think Arizona right now is the team that won this trade but we're really gonna have to wait a couple years to see and look back to who actually did win this trade so that is going to wrap it up I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like on the video if you did subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content and I'll see you guys in the next video